Hey guys, it's Peter the Jason Siegel and Scott Pilgrim fan here, and tonight's video I'm going to be doing another salute video now. This salute video, along with Hostel, Spanglish, and Ray, were requested by Brent's a fan, the Terminator fan. So, anyways, guys, tonight's salute video is going to be on Halloween. Anyways, guys, here we go. Halloween. Wow, this is a very good horror movie series. I'm going to be going through my rankings for all of the movies right now. Starting off with the original classic. Halloween. I quite like the tagline of this movie, which was, The Night He Came Home. This is perhaps a, a very good introduction to the series. I especially like Jamie Lee Curtis's performance in this as Laurie Strode. He does, she does absolutely amazing, and the directing from John Carpenter, fantastic. This is going to get a free on my ranking list. Next up, we have the 1981 Halloween 2. Now, Jamie Lee Curtis is absolutely fantastic in this again, and overall, I especially enjoy this movie, and it's also another classic, a classic entry to the Halloween series that is going to get a, and it's going to get a four on my ranking list. A real classic horror movie as well. Next up, we have Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. Now, this is a all right entry in the series it's decent it's okay it's it's enjoyable and overall quite entertaining so it's gonna get up 13 on my ranking list next up halloween 4 the return of michael myers now this features some fantastic directing from dwight h little and it features some fantastic performance from donald pleasance in this and I still do enjoy Michael Myers in this as well. He is fantastic in this, as one of the best horror villains ever. Anyways, this is going to get a 12 on my ranking list. Next up, we have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Now, Danielle Harris is absolutely good in this. And uh, overall, overall... This has a fantastic has have some fantastic kills in this. It's entertaining, it's enjoyable, just like uh, Halloween's three and four, and it's gonna get an eleven on my ranking list. Next up, we have the Curse of Michael Myers. This has a fantastic performance from Paul Rudd before he starred in comedy movies, and uh, quite overall a good entry into the uh, series. It's uh, enjoyable, it's entertaining, it's good, and it's going to get a 10 on my ranking list. Next up with Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Overall, Jamie Lee Curtis is absolutely fantastic in this as well, alongside some of the Spawn cast, including LL Cool J, who also starred in SWAT and Mindhunters, and also did songs like Mama Said Knock You Out, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who also starred in Third Rock from the Sun. Overall... This um, uh, this uh movie is uh, is uh, all right. This movie is entertaining. It's enjoyable, and it's gonna get a seven on my ranking list. Next up, we have Halloween Resurrection, the last movie to star uh, our, um, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode until she returned in the 2018 movie. And uh, over, and this movie has a fantastic supporting cast in this, including Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks, all of whom do fa all of the cut supporting cast in this movie do fantastic in. Nick and this movie is going to get a six on my ranking list. And next up we have the Rob Zombie movies, starting with the first Hall with Halloween from two thousand seven. This is a fantastic remake of the series. Rob Zombie, does, who's a best known uh, metal um, uh, artist, uh, does, does a fantastic job directing and overall quite like the performance from Danielle Harris as Annie Brackett. And I quite enjoyed, uh, enjoyed how um, uh, the sheriff in this is played, played by Brad, by, by Chucky himself, Brad Dorif. Yeah, this is going to get a first place on my ranking list. Awesome horror movie. Next up, we have Halloween 2 from 2009. This movie has a fantastic poster with a fantastic tagline, Family is Forever. 
And uh, overall, quite like the return from uh, Malcolm McDowell, Brad Dor Dorff, and uh, Daniel Harris. Both of whom do fantastic jobs directing, starring in this. And overall, this is going to get two on my rank in this. Also, this is the last Halloween movie to be directed by Rob Zombie. Next up, Halloween from 2018. This movie marks the return of Laurie Strode. And uh, overall, it is a fantastic entry. And uh, speaking of this movie, I used to have a poster of it back a few years ago, but then I got rid of it. Anyways, it's a fantastic return to the series after a long time. Uh, after uh, 12, uh, after a long time. Time, and anyways, this is uh, going to get a 5 on my ranking list. Next up, we have Halloween Kills. This uh, movie is perhaps a... Uh, a good entry in the, in the David Gordon Green series. Overall, quite entertaining, quite enjoyable, and overall, it's a good entry in, this, in the series, and it's going to get a 9 on my ranking list. Last but not least, Halloween Ends. This is a perhaps, um, uh, perhaps features a fantastic... Uh, come on. Michael Myers is still fantastic in this, as he is in the, as he is in the other movies as well. And uh, Jamie Lee Curtis does absolute fantastic as always. Overall, it is going to get a uh, well, it's going to get an eight on my ranking list. Overall, a very good horror movie series. So, anyways, do you know who likes some of these movies? Me. This is a fantastic horror movie series. All of these have a fantastic cast, and all of these have a fantastic um, uh, villain from villain in the form of Michael Myers. He is up there with stuff like Freddy Krueger and Leatherface and Jason Voorhees and some of the best horror movie characters ever. So anyways, do you know who does not like and or hates these movies? Well, nobody that I know of. So, Halloween rocks. And so does A Nightmare on Elm Street.